Well, this is a strange question. Given given this equation, it involves with the f of x and its uh, definite integral. We are looking for f of x. Now, how do we start? Now, that, well, we have, we must be clear that the integ uh, indefinite integral is a. Uh, an antiderivative, which is a function, while the definite integral, definite integral is a number. While well, uh, well, geometrically in significance is uh, the area of the curve under f from zero to half pi. That's the area, and no? that is the number, numerical value. So we can let we can uh, let uh, n be the definite integral f of x dx because definite integral, as I said, is a numerical value. Okay, and n is a real number, right? So now if you get this point, then the equation is uh, rather easier. Therefore, it says f of x will be equal to 2 cosine cube x sine x minus n. See? Then... We integral both sides from 0 to half pi f of x dx will be equal to 2 integral from 0 to half pi cosine cube x sine x dx minus n from 0 to half pi dx. See? That will be very easy because this is also equal to n. n is equal to 2. Now for this integral is rather easy. This is uh, from 0 to half pi and uh, cosine cube x d cosine x, right? And for that one, you, you must throw a negative 1 because this is a negative sign. And that one is easy minus n half n. And this one is equal to negative 2 then this is a cosine fourth x from 0 to half pi minus half n pi. Then we move this one over there, we get uh, n 1 plus half pi, right? Yeah, is equal to this is negative half. This will be zero when x is a half pi, when x is a zero plus you know. Yeah. No. Negative, right? So this one is equal to positive. Positive half. Therefore, n is equal to uh, half one plus half pi. So this one is equal to times two, two plus pi one. That is my n. Okay. 
Okay, then, then we are looking for f of x, right? So f of x, according to this one, it is equal to true cosine qx sine x minus n minus 1 over 2 plus prime. So this is my f of x we are looking for. Okay. Now we can verify verify for this one, right? f of x is this. Then this is a n, right? n is this. Then we just verify both sides are equal. I leave the verification to yourself. All right, that is the result of f of x we are looking for. Thank you for your watching.